Sing good enough to get covered. What's up, guys? <laughs> Yo, it's been a long time, but we uh, we're back. So yes, we haven't been in a while. I actually kind of forgot all about it, which is sad. See how but she we've is, been guys. like so busy with so many things. He's been sick, and it's been crazy. It has been a lot of things going prep. on in the front. Wait, is that how you say? In the front <laughs> and in the back. <laughs> in the house. Up in the house. <laughs> this girl is something else. So, uh, yeah, but we're back. We're going to uh, look at some stuff today for you guys. We have, you know, normal show stuff. We're going to do a blind taste test competition. I got my ingredient. She likes to hide stuff in her in her no-nos. No-nos. No-no areas. <laughs> and um, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to hide my, my no-no. So. <laughs> might, might affect the flavor. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to talk about, uh, we got... Uh, we have so much to talk about. I'm excited. There's so much to talk about. And we got uh, new stuff. Vaptasia changed their labels from their Killer Custard line. I feel like we haven't hung out with our, like a girlfriend. Well, I feel like I haven't hung out with my girlfriend for a while. And I'm like, girl, I got the tea. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Good God, you guys. You're in for some trouble now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's just jump right into it. So, uh, starting with, uh, we're going to start with our first topic here on our list that we just made. We just stopped, we might have saw a cut. We stopped, we made a list, because yes. we're a mess if we don't have a list. Yeah, we're really like, especially me, I'm like, blah, 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 not talk about anything we're supposed to talk about. She is a wreck. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to my world. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I got my I got my little rock star here on I ice. My, I got my cappuccino. And we are ready to talk about some shit. Um, first off, let's talk about what we're vaping first. You know, before we do anything else, let's talk about what we're yeah. vaping. But we've been vaping. Why don't you go first? Because she's had a hell of a time getting a satisfying vape the last week. Yeah. Yeah, I've been having a hard time figuring it out because I just, you know me. Um, so I went back to, because I was doing like really high ohms and I was really happy with it for a while. And then I just, my my taste buds was like, no, it's not satisfying no more. And by high ohms, she means like 0.1. <laughs> That's yeah. not very high. It's just well, a little so higher it's than It's higher normal. than what I'm used to. And um, i just been having like really issues with my taste buds and everything lately. So I went back to low ohms, like 0 0.07 0 and 0 0.08, stuff like that. And I'm back to it. And I'm fine. I'm happy. It's all good. So I'm vaping um, Dinner Lady Lemon Tart because he... He saved me some. He stole my bottle. I did steal it. I did steal it. He straight, straight up stole it, and then he saved me some. Thank you. I put it back on her desk when it was almost empty. <laughs> yeah, oh, like, literally gentleman. almost empty. I'm and a gentleman and a thief. Today I decided to, um, because I was going to go back to the one. I've been having a really big issue with the one. I think I kind of like really got tired. I faked way too much of it. And now my taste buds are like, no. It just doesn't taste the same to me anymore. And it's sad because I loved it. And he bought me so many bottles of it. And now I'm like, I don't really like it like I used to. I don't know. So I'm going to keep them. And eventually maybe I'll like them again. But I'm doing Strange Fruit um, Fried Ice Cream. Fried Ice Cream. Ice Cream. And it is so delicious, especially with the lower ohms. It's grabbing me and it's so good it's like my least favorite out of the strange fruit it's a good because it's my most favorite <laughs> and what are you vaping that on um i'm vaping that on the 
those is? Druga. The Druga. And I have some, what are they called? So what they are is they are, uh, it's fused Clapton's two core Clapton, but instead of round wire, it's got flat wire on the outside. And then I'm vaping Lemon Tart on the Trinity Cat. It's a Trinity V2. V2. And I got some parallels going on in there. 20, 20 gauge parallels are on, and that I'm vaping that. I'm vaping the um, Strange Fruit on my Dreamer, and I'm vaping the Lemon Tart on my Big Mod. Big Mike Big Mods. My custom mod that I got made. I'm still living strong with it. I'm loving it still. This thing's like a fucking brick. I love it. It still satisfies me. Like, I go really high ohms with it, and it's good. And sometimes I can go real low ohms, and I just, I've... Yeah, right now it's point zero seven. I've tried other regulated mods, and it just doesn't satisfy me. I think it's because it's my custom mod. I just it's something per, like personal, and I love it. And and it's got a DNA two fifty in it. So I, I, if you're gonna have a regulated mod, it's yeah, a good regulated it's my mod. most favorite mod. Like regulated, it's my only regulated mod that I will always use. And a, always a big part it. of it is that she had it designed by yeah. a guy that she communicated with. She had all little pictures that she wanted put on there. It has her name on it. It has so. me, me and Travis on there, you know. So. Kissing. That's a big part of it. Plus, it's got that DNA 250, which is a killer shit. Yeah, and it's totally satisfying. Like, it doesn't, I put it wherever I want it, and it's, it's satisfying to me. And it's satisfying. I had it all the way down to, like, um, it was point zero, it was point, it was seven percent dead. And I was still vaping it, and it was satisfying. And I was like, wow, I better charge this. Cause I wasn't. You're not supposed to let them go as lower than fifteen percent, but I forgot all about it. So. Cause this but does not take eighteen sixty. This has a. Um, a li uh, what is that called? A. Um, light bulb battery. Light bulb. Yeah. Yep. It's a big battery in there. I'm not gonna ruin my nails to open it though. Yep. But I love it. Is that all you're vaping right now? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I've been keeping really like limited to what I, I've just figured out why I wasn't enjoying things, so, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied right now. She went through literally every liquid in the goddamn house over the last week. Well, I was using, changing like, cotton, really changing good, coils, changing liquids. we had some really cool coils that I still, I, like, hoarder things that I, we buy, but they're mine, but I, like, hoarder them for, like, like I still got co a coil from, um, Yeti that I'm saving for a special occasion, and I, like, hoarder, like, coils that we get from people, until I want them, and so I pulled out some aliens, and they were just too, too much metal, and it was not satisfying. It, like, the ramp up time was. It was point oh eight. It was point on oh eight, but it that slight ramp up time just freaking irritated. And the coils me. were from Wire Freak eighty three from on Instagram. The guy yeah. makes fucking amazing. It's delicious coils. vape, but it just took too long for me to get that vape. It's like, like a six core alien, so there's yeah. a lot, there's a lot of metal there, but yeah, and it. It was just irritating. It was not what I wanted. I wanted that instant vape. So I finally figured it out. I put some he because he always makes coil, coils for me and puts it in my little um my little, it's a little glass jar with dot cork mod on dot the dot mod um cork thing. He put puts it in there. So I grabbed some in and now I'm happy. Good. Yep. Good. 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 <laughs> Okay, so I have been I've been vaping a ton of stuff. If I had everything, he on has there, like six mods up in front of us right now. And this is honestly, this is half of what I like on a nightly basis. I have my build table full of mods. And then and he brings his favorites in the bedroom, which is like two or three to go to bed. To go to I bed, I bring like three. Just so he doesn't, because he has sleepwalking issues. Like we literally discussed locking him in the bedroom and True. stuff like that because he hurts himself so much. And he stands up sleeping, which is not good for your back or your legs or your feet, your anything, your whole body, your health. Um, so we literally talked about locking him in the bedroom. So he tries to bring everything he needs in there so that way he doesn't have to leave the bedroom. I bring water, snacks, vapes, everything you can imagine. Yeah, and it does work. Yeah, it does a lot. Yeah. But especially if he, if he don't bring snacks, like enough snacks, because <laughs> even though he don't use them all, like he won't eat them all, but just... He'll just think that he wants something, just and he'll the leave the room, it, yeah. and he won't come back for hours. He'll be out here sleeping, standing. Yeah. I stand up, stand up, fall asleep. Yeah. He hits his head on yep. things. 
He I've fallen down a lot. Things. I've broken a lot of shit in the house, falling through it. Mm-hmm. It sounds insane, and it is insane. Like we had but I two um, little dinner, like what you're using right TV now. TV trays. TV trays. He broke. He fell through fell it. Fell through one. Straight up. And it's not good. And that isn't you standing up sleeping isn't good for your circulation at all. It's very bad for you. It's it's not healthy. And he doesn't. It's he's not really sleeping. He's just. You're not. You're not getting that deep sleep. No, because you're not like rested. And so I'm constantly exhausted at at work and yeah, stuff. It's so he'll be like fucking terrible. He'll probably let's let, let's go cut on and watch a movie. And he's like. <laughs> as soon as I well, and that's another thing is I have I have this really weird combination of issues. Where I have, um, I have insomnia and I have problems but, sleeping, but I also have what's called, um, what the hell is it called? Oh my god. It's related with stress. It's, it's so oh my god, I can't remember the name of it. It's basically when you're, uh, no, arc, narc- narcolepsy. narcolepsy. But it's stress related. It's stress related narcolepsy. It's very, it's very slight, like, um, it, it's like as soon as I sit down and I'm not doing something, I'm asleep. Or if he's editing... He'll, he'll fall asleep. Playing games on my computer, editing. It, or if he's, we're driving, like, I'm so scared to drive at night with him because when we're driving, he gets so, and Not there's a time. lot of traffic or something, Not he will fall asleep. Not all the time. It's happened a couple times. Because I won't drive with him at night no more. Well, like, long drives. The last time we went on a drive, it was fine. And we drove down to San Francisco in the middle of the night to get your cat, and it was perfectly fine. Yeah, because I talk to him, like, the whole time. If I don't talk to him the whole time, he will fall asleep. It's just, yeah, my mind, if my mind doesn't isn't doing something, it'll just shut down. And that's the crazy thing, is that you would think, okay, so this guy is always wanting to sleep. So that as soon as he goes to bed, that... he would go to sleep. But it's the opposite. As soon as I go to bed, it's like, I, w- I go to sleep for one hour. It's always he's one hour. He's tired, because he yeah. takes all kinds of, like, medication I take Benadryl sleep. and sleeping medicine. But he just shit. can't stay in bed. No, nope. like, one he, hour I'll be asleep, and then I'm up. I wake up. And sometimes he sleepwalks. Like, yeah. he doesn't even know he's leaving the room. That's true. So it's it's, it's lot, insane. Yeah. I'll wake up, and I'll have to come out and get on sometimes. This has been going on for, like, six months. And this it's, like, the worst, because he does not listen to me. When he's like in that state, he will not listen to me. So I have to I'm just stand out here thing. and stare at him. And then it's like, We are going to sleep. I'm coming. I've only been out here for 15 minutes. I'm like, It's been like two hours. <laughs> he's yeah. so in denial when he's in that way. It's state. rough. It's crazy. It's rough. Okay, so what have we been though? We have a, a long tangent. But yeah. it's, it's, it is what's going on with me. Um, it's been going on since we met. And that's so sad. He said he didn't have it as bad when he, before. He I had it, but not as bad. It's it's. I, don't I think know if the it's, house is haunted. I think the house is haunted too. But that's My a whole other story. And all crazy. Well, that's a whole other story too. <laughs> My cat's just fucking goof. Um, but so I'm vaping, uh, and here I have uh, killer custard. Speaking of killer custard. Um, I have some killer custard in this. This is my Eliolus Light, and I have it on the McLovin. I think this is her McLovin. And then in the my other in the other McLovin, I have the uh, Armageddon, this is what's called the Apocalypse. Is that yeah, it's the um, fake yeah, it's one. The Apoc- yeah, this is a clone of Apocalypse. But as we know, as we found out, it doesn't really matter if it's the clone or the real. They're all made in China, so it doesn't really fucking matter. So this is the clone I, of Apocalypse. I like the Apocalypse because I loved how it felt on my lips because of the, the little nudges. Mm-hmm. But I don't like the flavor of the um, Apocalypse. Like, something, it, just, it doesn't give me a I really flavor. like it, actually. And you know what? When I first time I ever tried the Apocalypse, I fucking hated it. Uh, I don't know what it was. I just, I just did not like it. What are you but vaping now, that? now I'm vaping uh, Looper from Can Animal. Oh, let me put some liquid on there. And um, there's something about it. It's this is definitely like uh, old school styled RDA with the single, uh, you know, round airflow. I was so excited. And what's weird about this because I bought it with my first tube mod because it was, it was when I started talking to him and I got my first tube like hybrid tube and it came with the RDA with it and it was like it was um a clone or whatever so it worked fine come here he tries to like use it with it with the actual the it's, it's a set and it no RDA would work on it go the on tubes, the tube it's, it's aluminum like, and, and it the doesn't threads, even look stripped the, or anything the threads are totally stripped everything yeah. just sits right in it like goes right the in the same it. thing that happened to my aluminum um oh god Manhattan V2 it's the same exact thing. Although, uh, I was a little update on my Manhattan V2. I did find one RDA that fits on there, which is my original um, Patriot. It fits on there. I but, can it's not, use it. but it's not hybrid, right? 
it, it's not it, hybrid safe. It's just barely hybrid safe. It, I've been using it, so. But it's like a, the, the Patriot is an old school three post RDA. And the post holes are literally like one millimeter. So it's like hard to even get like a dual coil, just regular micro coils in there. It's a pain. So right now I'm just using a single coil. And I had to wrap one of the coils around the screw. Instead of going through the hole, I had to wrap a, the, the, the leg around the screw to get it to make contact. It's, it's a mess, but uh, I am using it because I love that mod. So. so what else are you making over here in your... Um, I'm vaping the Sandman. This is like my, this is my all day. This is what I vape all the time. I got that for review. I love this it mod It was like the so first much. mod that we got from Heaven's, first mech mod from Heaven's Sketch. Yep. And I love it. I absolutely love it. This is a Sandman mod. Um, it's one of the best. That's made from, with a creator also, right? It's made with like a, I think it's a French or Spanish creator or something like that. I can't remember. Like a YouTuber. Um, but the RDA that came with it was junk. It was the Nord. It was total garbage. It's kind of like the Lucid. Except fucking worse. Way worse. If that's even, you know, the, the Lucid was no, was no day in the park. But this thing was fucking worse. We tried worse. everything to make that work because it looked so, it's like, nice. aesthetically, like, pleasing yeah, together. And it goes so well on this mod. But so instead, I'm just using the old standby, which is the Dead Rabbit with a challenge cap on there. Um, and it's so, it's so patina that it looks like it's black anyways. Yeah, and, it looks um, good together. Yeah, it's like, ar it reminds me of, like, army. Like this is my go-to. And this is, I'm vaping my, uh, my personal liquid, my DIY white girl in there. Because this is, like, what I vape all the time. So that's what I'm vaping right now. Um, this is uh, for our for our challenge. Yeah. So I don't know what's in there. But on there, this is the Heracles RDA, which people don't even know that Heracles had an RDA, but there it is. And uh, finally, like I said, this is not all that I'm vaping in my life, but this is what I brought with me. This is the Panther RDA review coming very soon. I already filmed it. I just got to put it up on the channel. Uh, Panther RDA by EH Pro. Um, and this is the minigun mod from High Desert Vapor. And in here, I'm trying to stalling because I can't remember what I put in here. Um, this is, uh, my other, this is an accidental DIY, which is Chubby Chaser, which is like a cake, cake custard donut. liquid, donut liquid, and white girl mixed together, so I call it, uh, big beautiful white girl. He, he did it, and he on like, on accident. He I spilled it in there, and he was like, oh my god, he was freaking, I thought he was going to cry, because he loves Because I don't girl. have any more, I don't have any more stuff to make white girl right now. But he, it ended up tasting really good It's together. really good. And so I've been I think it. it tastes better than the Chubby Taste shirt by right, itself. So big time. Like, it, we should white have girl. just mixed it together White girl anyway. saved it. 100% saved it. Because now it's just, it's like white girl, so it has a, a ton of like donut cake texture. Yeah. It's just really good. And it's so, like white girl, it's with donut, a donut white girl. <laughs> and if donut anybody's, top white girl. <laughs> if anybody's had white girl, anybody who's a, uh, who, who I've, Shared it with, uh, you guys know what that's like. So just imagine that, except more. And um, shout out to um, Daytime Frank. I just sent him a bottle of White Girl. And he's a DIY guy. He's a big mixer. That's like his whole channel. So I'm really, really curious to see what he thinks about White Girl. I'm looking forward to hearing about that. So so that's it. That's what I'm vaping. So that was now a lot. That was a lot. So, <laughs> so what do we got next? Oh, you want to talk about the killer? Let's talk about killer custard. custard. Um, so, um, sad moment. So, I mean, we have a lot of conflicting emotions about this, okay? And we'll just say right from the beginning that um, we understand why Vaptasia made this decision. I, it was a very smart decision. But yeah, and it's not even sad. it's not even that they had a choice because the, the FDA is basically determining for companies what they're allowed and how they're allowed to market. So um, they have made a big change, and we'll do a post. She'll put it up on the screen um, because she's going to edit this video. Um, Killer Custard has always had these little characters on the Actually, boxes. It's right there. We have a poster up on the wall. Um, okay, you can kind of see it. Kind of see it. But anyway, so um, I wouldn't even say it's it's um, it's not like it's cartoony, but it's not like it's adult adult -like. cartoony. Yeah, definitely. And uh, but so they made the decision. Um, uh, you know. Better late than never. Um, some people say they should have made this a lot sooner, but they they have done it, and uh, now it's just little little bowls of custard. And the uh, strawberry one has a strawberry, yeah. lemon has a my, lemon. My my feeling, I don't like the marketing. I think they could have did a little better with it. That's my thing. It feels a little last last minute. Yeah, like they didn't really. Yeah, they could have did a little better. 
my opinion about the whole thing is I don't, I think that first of all I understand like the what with that um, apple juice thing where where people like try to make things look like you know copyright infringement yeah that I understand that that's totally wrong um, but I don't think I think adults could have we're allowed to have like cartoons on our our stuff like it's I don't see the problem with it um, I don't think a child should be in a vape shop or on a vape website or anything like that and or near and watch your stuff watch your bottles they can it doesn't even have to have a cartoon on it and your child could um, think it's anything juice it doesn't have to have a, a cartoon on it for that and I think it's wrong that we're saying that we can't have that on there I don't I just I'm very upset that Big Tasia had to change their marketing because it was so cool and it was it was we're big like fans. It. We were big fans of the the marketing. So and like, would so are they gonna have to change their marketing? Probably, yeah. Like strange fruit, like that, and that sucks because that like, is that's strange that's fruit. Strange fruit. Yeah. And it's just like, like why can't we have anything that is appeasing to the eye? Why do we have to have some stupid custard with a lemon next to it? Yeah. Like, I want something cool. Like we're allowed to have T-shirts that have cartoons and say curse words and everything like that, but we can't have that on our e-liquid. Like it just doesn't make sense. It's, and it's there's like, like and we were talking about this last night. There's like there's like all these alcohol brands like Hypnotic. Yeah. And all these like and all these brands Making that, it like cool blue colors or like like Boone's Farm. They have um, all these like very bright colors like Four Loco. All these alcohols mm -hmm. that have these bright. Colorful labels and, and basically the marketing they're is coming totally, for the underage yes. group. The marketing is totally aimed at kids, 100%. And um, and there, nobody says shit about that. And um, it just seems like we're being targeted because, like, for the one because thing. It's like the only thing they have against us is like, oh well, there's cartoons on there, so like they're coming after us for for bullshit reasons. And you know, and smartly um, because this is such an important industry. Okay, so we we are making those changes, but it is bullshit. The thing is, it's like, okay, there was a cartoon in it, but now what do they, they can say, oh, that your child could think this is a dessert. Yeah. Like, what's the difference? That's the, that's the only thing about capitulating to these demands, is that, like, they're all, they're just going to... Now your marketing is going to be boring. Well, and as soon as we do this, they're going to find something else. Yeah. They're going to say, oh, it looks like a dessert. We're it, never going to, we're never going to... You can only to... have a name now. They're always going to be after us, and that's something we have to understand. And so, um, it's really important that everybody like fights, you know, goes like when they when we had like opportunities like the FDA 100K thing, where you could go and you could, you know, uh, leave, leave your story. I think that uh, all that stuff story. doesn't matter, though. I think it, no matter what they were going to do, what they had to do, regardless what you did. But I think that you know, we it's still very important to have your voice heard. Yeah, call your is. call your local politicians. Have your voice heard. I think that uh, Penn is right in the sense that um, big tobacco and big pharmaceutical companies have a lot of money at stake, and they have a lot more money to throw at the government. Yep. And unfortunately, our government is is based around money, and um, and politicians are allowed to take money from special interest groups and from these people like. Tobacco companies will donate money to their campaign. And supposedly it's not supposed to change their opinion, but it does. But it does. But it does. You know, if somebody is, is paying you, that will affect your opinion. It's the same reason why if a reviewer is getting money from a company, you are less likely to trust their opinion on a review. Yeah, Point because blank. even if they say, oh... Regard, um, regardless of blah, blah blah my opinion doesn't matter change yeah right I mean there's people who who will doubt your opinion on something if you get it for free yeah let alone if somebody's paying you and so it's the same with a politician you can't tell me taking a million dollars from a company and you know or or whatever the limit is there is a limit you know quote unquote but they can get around those limits but um what, you know, if a, com no, if, a, if, a, if a company is giving you hundreds of thousands of dollars for your campaigns every two, four, six, eight years, whatever, uh, that will have an effect. And when they come knocking on your door asking you to, to clamp down on this industry, you're going to do it. Because it's just like in, a vape, I mean, in the YouTube world, you know if you give the, the negative opinion, your negative opinion of a product... You're off that PR list. You're not going to get any more stuff from them. So it's just like that. in the government, if they do something that they, that the person that's giving them the money, they do something against them, they're not they're going not to get that, that money. money no more. Yep. So, of course, it, 
it is changing their opinion, no matter what they're saying. Yep. I don't believe what. And you know what? At all. And uh, and there are people fighting right now. Go to Wolfpack.com. You can go, and there's people trying to get money out of politics, and it's 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 not it's not impossible. There are people fighting to get money out of politics. That's the only way we're ever going to save um, our industries like vaping. So, it's out there. Go check it out. Uh, the same with the CBD um, e-liquid stuff. Like, you can't even do any of that. And I just don't understand that whole thing. It's just like, all of a sudden, I don't know. It's just stupid. Like, it's not... It's, it's like... Oh, you can't market anxiety pills. It's just like an anxiety pill. It's not. It doesn't get you high or anything. It's not a drug or anything like that. But for some but reason. But at the end of the day, whoever is is paying the whoever's paying the piper, that's who gets to make the rules. Yeah. And so when it, like for like for YouTube, for instance, with the CBD thing that happened, uh, with people getting strikes for having CBD reviews, um, advertisers said basically, I think basically what happened was they said we don't want it to be associated with CBD. And so YouTube said, done. Yeah. I mean, there was like a humongous change, obviously. Like, everyone with weed, there was so many people with millions of subscribers based on just marijuana, and they were like shut down. Custom Grow 420, who we don't even smoke weed, but we thought he was fucking hilarious. He's the grungiest, yeah. grimiest, dab smoking dude in and the world, but they shut him down. So. And it was like, they, no one even got a heads up. That's what bothered me the most, is no one got a heads up. It was just, they did it on their own, and they were like, boom, you're shut down. They didn't give a, no one a chance to like, we lost. Anything. We lost a ton of channels. We, I mean, um, that people like Foolish, I mean, who is still at a fraction of what his original um, subscriber count was. Um, people like Wendy Vapes luckily got her channel back through uh, through a means that I'm not really sure how she did it, but thank God she did, because Wendy is a, is a cool person. Uh, but there's people, you know, like, um, uh, what's her well, name? I think because uh, she Alex, only did, like, she one video. Yeah. yeah. Like, you, like, she did that one video, and I think um, she probably got suspended or something. Yeah, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I really I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I don't talk to her like I don't have communication with her. So but she did get her channel back. Her channel was completely gone, and now it's back, which is good. Um, Alex, her channel's name was like Assassin's Creed, but everybody knows her as Alex. But she quit. She she well, she got her channel taken down, and so basically what she said was that she wasn't going to rebuild the channel from scratch. But people which are still I don't using her, her um, videos. Remember, I seen her video up. Someone that was on a, that was on like a, a company's website or something though. So maybe she's still working. Like just I think it was just companies. an old. I think it was just an old video. Oh, it's just sad. Yep. So, it's sad how they just did it right under everyone's feet without well a email. Because all literally, literally, especially people that only had one video, like Travis and like Wendy and stuff, and other people that only had like one or two videos of this of um the CBD oil, and it. They got their channels taken away without any warning. They could have just took that video down, and it would have been fine. And they didn't even give them a chance. Like give us, like could have given us at least like even twenty four hours notice. Yeah, just and so said here's can... here's what we've decided to enforce. You know, here's like so. Go we, through your videos. I knew, yeah. you know, I knew that like people like Custom Grow Four Twenty who did weed stuff. I knew that was gonna eventually that was gonna get shut down because it is in the terms of service. You're not allowed to do dr promote drugs. That kind of stuff. It says it right there. But with what? CBDs, it's not a drug. It's totally legal. It does. It's not mind altering anyway. So, like, if they would have just given us a heads up and said, "Hey, this is our new policy," it just felt very targeted towards our community. Mm -hmm. Like, here's a way that we can kind of sneak around and get a lot of these guys out of here. Yeah. And they did. And they did. It so. was very sneaky. Very sneaky. Like, yeah. unprofessional. Very. They don't. They, I mean, they I obviously just don't care because there's there's going to be new um, new um, people coming taking your place. And it's like the vaping, especially the vaping um, uh, part of YouTube, is a fraction, a tiny, tiny fraction. You don't really get a lot of um, advertisements. Nope. You don't. They don't really make a lot of money off of they vaping. They don't care. So they don't care like, about us. They would rather replace us using up their bandwidth with some other content. Like, like gaming or, or beauty. beauty or anything beauty else. Beauty makes so much money. Yeah. 
Like we were looking at some of the beauties on Social um, Blade, and they make a lot of money, especially the big ones. So they make. I mean, they definitely want to keep them around. Well, but they did stop them from smoking weed because there was a couple of them that smoked weed on their channel. But they didn't take their video, their no. channel down. They just told them that they have to block them from like they can't have it no more, and they have to take the videos off, which is like weird that they somehow got warned or something. Well, here's the thing: is that um, so like even like in 2012, the amount of YouTubers who had over a million subscribers was like a dozen. Okay, was very small. It was, a, it was a very small, elite group of people. Now, in 2018, the amount of channels that have over a million subscribers is like 2,500. So, YouTube has no shortage of mm -hmm. large channels. They don't care about our community. They would rather get rid of us and replace us with something else. Yeah. It's they can actually bring advertisement yep. and bring money to their pockets. It's that's it. And so um, even our biggest YouTubers are tiny in comparison to other people. Yeah. So it is what it is. All right. Let's move on. Um, next. Uh, so this. Switch Mods. You guys know about Switch Mods? Switch Mods is a big company. Um, they make gorgeous <laughs> mods. Um, I've been wanting a Switch Mod for a really long time. They have just the, the bold colors, like bright neon greens and oranges and stuff. And um, I just like the looks of them. And so I was on Instagram came across a, a, a guy who um, owns a lot of Switch Mods. I'm not going to call him out by name or anything. It's not his fault. But he owns a lot of Switch Mods, and he, he you know, takes a lot of pictures of them. And I just thought, man, it's so gorgeous. And so I just started talking to Panda about it, and we were like... Um, you know me. Let's get them. And so we were like, <laughs> let's get a couple, because they were reasonably priced. And so um, we were like, let's get a couple. And so we went on to Switch Mods' site, uh, their actual site, and um, placed an order. And, and like there was stuff out of stock, so it looked active. Yeah, it totally looked like there's most of their mods were out of stock, but there was a few in stock, and there was a few that we were interested in. So we bought, she bought like a pink one. I got like a green one. We were super excited. Mm -hmm. So like a week went by, and, and then Panda's like, you know, they haven't like uh, nothing's happened with that. Like, said, they haven't shipped it. on our site, and it said unfulfilled. Yeah, they haven't shipped it or anything. No, and I was writing cus their customer service, and. I tried calling their number, and their number went straight to a voicemail that, you, that had no voicemail. Like, you couldn't leave a voicemail. That, that was like And the, it wasn't a business voice. Like Well, it was, it was, it was, it was Comcast business. It was, it was a business phone number. But it wasn't number, a but it business. Wasn't. Like, where you, you know, there's a menu. And no. It wasn't. And that was, you know, and that was like the first scary thing. Okay, so. Um, so, I started investing. Like investigating their social media. But so that's what. Well, so but first, like, so nothing happened with I with mean. the the order. So that was like we were kind of like, well, what's going on? Sometimes but they it, took the money. They took the money. So sometimes it takes a while, right, to to make an order. So I, I, we did say like, give it a couple of days. We yeah. gave it a couple of days. She had written customer service already. And they didn't answer her. So I call. I was. I went to call one day, and it rang, and then it went to voicemail, yeah. and then she called after that like 10 times in a row we tried calling over and over and over and, again um and like she said no voicemail yeah so like so i started getting worried because that was i still two of them it's like and we bought e-liquid so it was it's like 200 dollars it was like 275 dollars yeah with e-liquid and two of the mods so uh, you know that's a lot of coins you know for to lose and i was like what the heck so I started like looking onto their social media so that you know I'll put you on blast on your social medias if you owe me money. I'm like so I'm writing on their social medias and no one's responding. So usually when you write on their social media, someone's social media, they will respond because they don't want no negative stuff on their social medias. So then I started looking at like their posts. When were the last time they posted? And it was like in November, and I was like. They weren't even, they're not active at all. For a long time. Yeah, so I was like, so I kept calling them again, and I was like, this is just weird. So I, I just called my bank, and I was like, so I told Travis, what I think is happening is they probably, you know, went under or something, and they're still taking money, because no one, if you if you don't want to take someone's money, you're going to shut your website down, or you're going to call, you know, tell the, call the person that just made the order, and give them their money back and say, you know, we're not open no more, whatever. But I think they're taking the money because so they can because they have debt. You know, you're gonna have debt if you go under. 
And I don't know if it's that's that, my conspiracy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's that nefarious that, because it's, it's, you're not going to get away with just stealing people's don't money. Don't sue me on Switch Mod. Don't <laughs> sue me. Um, that is my conspiracy. That is my opinion. That isn't just, you know, that's what I'm thinking of the whole situation. <laughs> because, you know... If Regardless you, of if whether it's nefarious or not, whether or not they are doing it on purpose but or whether or not... shut your site down. Yeah, or whether or not it's just like... It could be that it's just the site's there, the money's getting t taken to a bank, and they're not even fucking with it at all. It could be that. that. Just, it could be that. It doesn't but, make sense to me. But even if it is that, you are still taking people's money and not fulfilling orders. And the site looks so active. It looks legit. Yeah, so like... Um... It is, I mean, it is their site, but and it looks active, so you you wouldn't think anything because there's things out of stock and everything like that. So I went back on the site, like, this is a week later, and looked at our items that we purchased, and they were still on sale. So I was like, there's no way they're still, this should have been out of stock because if this is an active site, you know, people would have bought them out And already. the majority of mods were out of stock. Yeah. So there's only a few left that were in so stock. If so some, if someone was monitoring the site, because um, I'm sure we're not the only people buying off this site, someone would have put, you know, out of stock because we don't have this item no more because eventually you're going to get out of stock of the green or the purple, pink, you know, because there was only like three of them available. Yeah. And so I call my, my credit card people and they, uh, I told them what happened and they gave the they're, they're like they're refunding, refunding the money, the money. Yeah, which is good. but it's just do do not go on the site and do not purchase from Switch Mod because yep. now if you find Switch Mods on a third there are Switch Mods available on third party sites in which we, we should have, have done, done because they had the we, they actually had more options that that they well, had we just didn't that. we weren't we did, familiar with the sites and and this is the second time like not with vaping but I. have Ordered from a beauty site for for a palette and stuff because you know my other site is my other um, channel. <clears throat> my other channel is beauty, so I ordered like a palette and stuff. And there, there's people making sites that look exactly like the other per person's site, the like the the creator site. But this was their site. Yeah, that didn't happen. In this it was case. It, on their media, social media, and everything went straight to this site. So it it was their site. It's just. They're not doing and business. The, and the moral of the story, what we're trying to get to, is, is that just don't order from there. Well, don't order from there, but also um, before you make any big purchase, um, check people's social media. Make sure they're active. That would have been something if we would have looked at that first. We would have, we would have, that would have been a big red flag. And just always, I mean, like, even though it's a big company like Switch Mods, which is a well-known mod company, um, I think if we would have dug around a little bit we would have quickly found out that there's probably, if we look now, there's probably people out there saying, hey, Switch Mods is not fulfilling orders. We can't be yeah, the I only I wish there ones. was, like, they didn't have an area where there people can leave, like, reviews or anything, because I'm sure there was other people complaining that if there was something like that. There was no area for that. So, and when I Googled it, nothing showed up. It was just, like, so weird. It was, like, how, like... And luckily she used we her... We can't be the first people that no. got, like... And luckily she used her credit card instead of her debit card. Because yeah. a credit card has built-in protections for stuff like this. But, like, if you're trying to get a refund from them, we couldn't get them on the phone. We couldn't get any kind of answer from their customer service website. So, no. our email, so... They still haven't emailed me. So, how would we even... They emailed me my receipt when I purchased it. But that's all automated. Yeah. But, like, the customer service is, like, non-existent. Nothing... No, I would have been screwed. So, yeah. So, I mean, luckily... I mean, that's another Or thing. if I were to use, like, some... Like, a third-party, like, debit card. Like, yeah. you know, some people don't have banks and they have, like... And you ain't getting Prepaid your money Visa back. card or whatever. Yeah, yeah you're, you're not, not getting your money back. back. Luckily, and that's another thing, if you're buying things online, it's, if you have the ability to use a credit card. Or if they have a PayPal option, yeah. you go PayPal, PayPal or credit cards, they have built-in protections. That's where, you're gonna, that's where you want to use. PayPal, um, I got my money back that day. Um, my credit card, I had to wait. I have to wait a bit. But um, I haven't checked, actually, to see if I got it. But they said it's up to seven days. But PayPal... That day, I had my money in my back in my credit card. So I think I found another mod though that we can get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's a it's a big drag. Um, switch mods are beautiful. Um, Did you check their social media? <laughs> yes, they're very active. Um, but it's so yeah, it's sad because we sad. were so excited. The deck looks so cool and so nice, and it, everything looks. We wanted it so. Came bad. with a mod matching RDA. 
it just it was just really nice and it's you know so RIP to switch mods um, rest in rest in peace um, it's sad it's just sad so um, yeah you would think they would have something on their website like saying we're out of business don't order I don't like that's what makes my conspiracy that they're taking <laughs> people's money yeah legit or, or this le could be legitimately legit, legit no like le like it's my opinion legit Whatever, I don't know. I don't know where you're going with you that. You know what I'm saying. Don't, don't sue me. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody left to sue you. Well, I'm just saying. I don't want to be sued. So, you know, I mean, if anybody knows anything about it, leave comments below. Let us know what you guys know about it. Um, yeah, th maybe there's another site or something. Or maybe there's just they something Maybe there's something we don't know. You know, just let us know. Um, so, so, moving on from that. Um, uh, the last couple, you know, the last week. Um, well, I haven't done the live. Well, I don't know when you're gonna see this, but as of filming this right now, um, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm just recovering from uh, having a really bad infection in my leg that landed my ass in the hospital um, several times. Yes. Uh, so uh, my channel has been very sparse with content. Like, they marked them for surgery and everything just in case it didn't get better. It's really bad. So what happened was I got a little cut on my toe. Um, and that cut led to me getting an infection. But well, basically, what happens? I woke up one morning. It wasn't even a bad cut. No, and my woke, and we were taking care. Of, we were putting. Uh, uh, yeah, he's not like dirty or anything. No, we were, we like, were taking care. We of were it. putting um, what's that stuff Near called? Sporn. Neosporin on it and stuff. But anyways, so I woke up one day and my knee hurt really bad. And uh, I've actually torn a meniscus on my other knee, and that's what it felt like. I felt like I had fucked it up. And so I thought, um, oh, I hurt my knee really bad. Um, I'm gonna have to go to the doctor. Uh, so I, I, you know, went to work still, and um, one of my coworkers is an EMT. And she's like, hey, to me, it looks like an infection. And so um, it hurt really bad. That day, I went to the doctor, and the guy said, yeah, for sure, it's an infection. Um, it looked red. It was really but it red. It wasn't really red the first time. No, and it wasn't swollen. It wasn't swollen at all. It was, it just, was, it was just a little bit red and it, and on, the, on the actual knee, and it hurt really yeah. bad. And so he gave him medicine and sent him home. Gave me very strong uh, antib antibiotics and sent me home. Then it got really red. The next day, I woke up after taking it like antibiotics. Blood red. It was it looked like I had a sunburn on my whole leg, and my whole leg had swollen up, huge. Yeah. Just the one leg, huge, and um, so I went and back to. It was to, hot. It was, it was hot. like super hot. He had a fever. Yep. He, it was really bad. I, it was. It got way worse overnight, and so I went back to the hospital. Um, they were talk, immediately talking after about me, begging him. No, you know? I went. Uh, anyway, so they were talking about keeping me in the hospital overnight. I got really scared. Um, but they gave me antibiotics intravenously. Um, it still wasn't helping that first day. And basically, I went back the next day again. And uh, the guys basically said, the doctor was pretty good. Um, he's like, uh, your leg is so swollen that the, the medicine is not making it to the infection. It can't get there because your leg is so swollen. So they just kept pumping me full of antibiotics um, intravenously. And giving me, I, I was taking two different kinds of... Uh, you know, pills, and giving me the, you know, the, him to keep his leg up. And I was in the hospital for like eight hours one day, for like four hours the next day, and I was, yeah, had my leg elevated, and um, and it was just bad. And so the the last day I was in there, they marked like she said, they marked me, and a guy said, if it gets, if it doesn't, if it doesn't recede, like doesn't go down, and it gets up over this line, we're gonna admit you to the hospital, and we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do some kind of surgery. To like get the infection out of your leg, which yeah. if you guys know what that means, that means like they like, they like fillet your ass open and they dig that shit out. Yeah, it's not pretty, and so um, I was super scared. Luckily, after having an uh, antibiotics for like two or three days, you know, with the IV, and then also taking a ton of antibiotics um, pills, um, it has started to go down. My leg is significantly less swollen. It's not he's red. He's been keeping it up. Yep. Which is very it's very hard for him to stay in one yes. spot. Oh my so god. So it's. I've been very proud of him because he's, you know, played his little, um, was it the Super, Super Nintendo? The little Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo on TV and put a whole bunch of pillows. Thank God we got um, couch pillows that are really hard so they, they stay up and they keep his leg up really high. And at night I've been sleeping with my leg elevated like crazy. So, um, yeah. yeah, and it's just, doing it. but I missed like uh, Thursday, Friday last week and then all the way till Thursday of this week. So I mixed a week of work. Um, luckily, my work is great, and they were very accommodating, and I get a ton of sick uh, sick leave and stuff. So um, we're not losing any money or anything, which is great, thank God. Yeah, because that would have been bad. That would have been, been really bad for us. Uh, but everything um, is, is getting better now, so I want to thank you, everybody, for uh, supporting me and uh, being so kind. And I released a video on the channel like, kind of explaining this, and everybody was super cool. So.
Yeah, that was pretty serious. It was really serious. Really serious. And, okay, so one other thing, and then we're going to do the blind taste test. Um, alien coils. So I had it for a minute. <laughs> I was doing them, right? But now, like, but then I ran out of wire, and, like, like, a couple weeks went by without me making them. And now I'm right back to square one where I cannot, for the life of me, make these aliens. So if anybody has any kind of suggestions, right now what my problem is, is I can't keep all the cores flat. So... And you even created it. I created a little, like, I had a clamp thing that I, that I put glued to a drill bit to try to keep them all flat. I'm just having a hell of a time. I don't know if I'm using... Um, like right now I'm using Nichrome 90 as the core wires and it's very soft and so maybe I need to use like just Canthal for the core wires or something I don't know. It's just something I wanted to throw out there if anybody had any suggestions so Anything else you want to talk about before we do the no. blind taste test? No. Alright, let's do it then. Do you want to start or should I start? I'll start. Okay. This one is a very simple. So they were going to do it. Um, I, I was watching uh, Zample Blocks and they stole our idea, and they were, they've been doing blind taste tests. And the way they do it is they just look for flavor notes that, like they like on their site, they have like you know like it's like uh, fruit, dessert, candy. You didn't even credit us. No, I, I don't think they actually stole it from us, but it is a very similar segment that they do on their show. Um, they might have done it before. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but anyways, uh, so we're gonna that's what we're gonna try to do now. She's just gonna try to guess as many uh, like categories that, that this is. And Which I think is like kind of the same thing. Basically the same as what we were doing before. But before we were trying to guess exactly what the profile was. And if you can do that still, then you should. Yeah. But if you, uh, but if you can't, just try to give me uh, categories of what like you think fruit, it is. Yeah. Cream. This is a very simple flavor. For the first, for the first sh uh, show in a while, I gave you a very easy one. <laughs> Thank you. Mm hmm It definitely smells fruit. I'm not giving you nothing. I ain't giving you nothing. Oh God, you got your heart. Is that in mine? Well, you stole it. That's why. What a mess. Candy. Yes. Strawberry. It's that candy one. The strawberry one. Which one? The candy. We got candy grape. Um, nope. No, it's strawberry. Nope. Cherry. <laughs> it's candy, though. Definitely candy, yes. I get. I can't use this one. I have to change it okay. to mine because I okay. can't press your button. He changed his spring, and it's like so hard for me to press. I got a badass, manly, beefy spring in there. But yeah, so it's definitely a candy. Um, I would say I this. It's a it classic. Is. It is a classic children's. Snack. Fruit loops? I mean, fruit, 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 um, snacks? Yes, but a certain kind of fruit snacks. Oh, God. You're doing really good, though. So that's why when you're saying, like, specific, like, strawberry, cherry, I don't think it's, like, a specific fruit. There are, it's like, it is, like, fruit. It's fruit roll-up? No, but close. I think you're close enough just for me to tell you what it is. It is. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's the candy that you stick it, that white thing in? No. Oh. You were closer with fruit snacks. It's Gush. It's supposed to be like a Gusher. Oh, the Gushers. This is right. Midnight Vape Co. Uh, this is a great little flavor. Um, it's a good candy flavor. It's very it's simple. It's the little like, candies you bite into and, and all that little, juice comes out. little jizz inside. A little fruit jizz. Jizz. A little fruit jizz. <laughs> and so this is, it's called the Original Gush. And, um. This is it's a good example of art that's not. It's a good example of art that does not cartoony or anything like that. It's not catering to kids. But it explains kids, what it is. But it explains what it is, and it is a flavor that um, that's like a classic kids flavor. But it's not appealing to kids because it's not you know marketed to kids. And it's a very cloudy, thick. It's a thick. Base yeah, it's, it's definitely and it's good too. Yeah, it is good. It's really I simple. I mean, for a candy. Yep. I'm not really in the candy mood, but. It's very simple. It's very it's very easy to, to digest. I actually like, like this one. It's a good one. I need to be. I think yeah, it, could, it could use a little more flavor. It's very VG heavy. Yeah. I and mean, this has been steeping for like a year, and this is as thick as... Yeah, and it doesn't have much flavor to it. It's, it's a lot of VG. Yeah. It's like a 90-10 like a or some shit like that. So, All right, my turn. Yeah. This isn't like a salt nick one or anything, is it? No. You're not like poisoning me, are you? 
No, but <laughs> tell them what happened with when you when you got the the nicotine ones, and I'm like, I taste it at home. So we got some. Uh, we got uh, the new basics uh, from Glass. So they released a salt nick line of e-liquids. That's like the basics line, but it's salt nicks. And so it's like 50 milligram. And uh, she's like, yeah, I was tasting on my finger. And I'm like, what? That's a lot of nicotine, girl. Because I didn't like read that it was nicotine. I just like tasted them because it's what I always do when he gets e-liquid. <laughs> and it didn't do anything to me. No, but be careful, kids, with that salt nick shit because that's, that's 50 milligrams. is really a lot of nicotine. I think if I knew about it, I probably would have felt sick. But because I thought it was regular. It's fruit, for sure. I forget what I gave you. Berries, maybe. Um, Stephanie berries. Cereal? No. It tastes like dessert. I know. Yeah, I guess you would call it a dessert. No. Um, well, the, it's got sugar, so yeah. It's got sugar, so... Mm. So is it berries though? Yeah, it's a blueberry. Okay, so it's berries. It and tastes sugar. with sugar. I mean, to me, it tastes like cereal, but I guess it's not cereal. Um, it definitely tastes like the the berries are very strong. Um, it's it's, it's very, very sweet. It's very sweet. You got most of it. Okay, just tell me that. It's the um, corn muffin with sugar on top, blueberry. It's the blue corn. Oh okay. yeah, that's good. That's really good. Cause I, I know she didn't try it. So I haven't I tried like, it yet, yeah. That's awesome, actually. And it's kind of a desserty flavor. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's blueberry cornbread muffin with sugar on top. It's fucking good, actually. Let me taste it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. It tastes like cereal. It's got a real cereal vibe to it. Oh, it does. No. Like corn cereal. Yeah. Like corn flakes or something. It's really good. It and it's really not good. like too blueberry. No, it tastes more like mixed berries. It's, than it's kind of mild. It's a little mild, yeah, but it's good. But it's good. Yeah, it's a good mild because it's got that sugar. So you, would, and with the color, but that I mean, it's, it's really dark for three it's, milligrams. It is really good. This is really good. This is by Coil Vapes. Did, didn't we get the other? Uh, yeah, we have a red corn red one too. One. Yeah, which I, I tried and I don't like it as much as this. This is from Mayhem Vapor Products. I want to uh, try the red one. It's good, but it's not as good as this one. This one is definitely the, the superior one. Made in San Antonio, Texas. So, thank you, Texas. You produced a I damn think, um, fine blue I think cornbread. Your, um, Giz sent this. Yeah, Giz did send it. Thank you, Giz, very much Thanks for sending Giz. it out. Yep. Jizzy, Gizzy. Um, so, yeah, that was awesome. Back in the saddle, we're fucking doing the show again. This gets us to try, like, different e-liquids that we haven't tried either, either in a while. Like, if I won't pick anything that he's ever tried because I know he will remember it. I do remember liquids. Yeah. So I I pick new things that I that look full, um, and it gets someone to try like stuff that he hasn't tried yet True. and stuff like that. So and then he found something that he likes. So it's cool. And it's, yeah, it's actually really good. And it reminded me I need to review that very soon. So it's it's a good e liquid. Damn good. That blueberry is like so good. It's like really mild. It's very mild. Yeah, it's good. I like it a lot. Yeah. I like the corn in it too. It's really good. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, um, thank you guys so much. We talked about it a lot. It's really nice to be back. Um, hopefully, this video will be up very soon. Yeah. It's up to her. We're about to be doing... Yeah, I'm going to do it tomorrow, but we're about to be doing some face masks. So, if you don't watch my beauty channel, my beauty videos, <laughs> watch this one. She drags me in all because this Because kind of we're both going to be doing face masks on each other, and it's going to be a crazy one. So... You usually skip over my my beauty um, videos. Don't skip over this one because you're going to love it. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, keep it close tight. Bye. Peace out. Please. Peace. Please, please. We have no lists. We're going to be all lost and confused. Should I have a list? <laughs> Because we're going to be all crazy. You're right. Okay, I'll start over again. She sees things too. She always seen ghosts. She's fucking mental. Hello and welcome back to another episode of At Home with Panda Dose Vapes. I am Travis from Overdose Vapes and this is Maria from Panda Vapes, Panda Girl Fashion, Panda Girl. I, don't, I like the first beginning. I'm going to keep that. Did okay. you delete it? No, how would I delete so it? So let's just start off. Because that was awesome. 
Okay. So I'm hungry. You said I'm hungry. Okay.